In this video, I'll show you how to create your own custom Steam artwork showcase using free tools, no Photoshop, no paid programs, just your browser. You can turn your profile from this to this. Side note, make sure your profile is level 10 so that you have a showcase slot on your Steam profile. I'll have a link in the description to a how to level up your Steam profile video. You can check that out if you want to level up your profile. The first thing we want to do is find a background. There's a few ways we can do this. You can go to store, point shop, backgrounds, and click see all 935 backgrounds, and you can buy any of these backgrounds with Steam points. Or you can follow the link I have in the description to Carl Hines background guide. It includes some favorite backgrounds split up into categories like color, anime, horror, and many more. All you have to do is click the name next to the background that you like, then you're transferred to the purchase page where you'll pay from your Steam wallet. Most of these are less than a dollar. The last way we can find a background is by searching on Google for DeviantArt Steamwork Art. Click the link to explore the best Steamwork Art, and you'll be taken to a page with tons of featured artwork designs to choose from. We're looking for one that looks like featured art, not these five panel images. Once we find one we like, click it, scroll down to the background link, and follow to the purchase page. Once we have our background, we want to set it to our profile background. Click your profile picture in Steam, view my profile, then edit profile. Click Profile Background, then find the background that you just purchased. Click Save, then go back to your profile to see your new background. Now we're going to create our custom featured artwork. To do this, we need to first get a link to the background we just purchased. In your favorite web browser, copy the link in the description for the community market. Once you're there, search the name of your background and click your background. Once you're on this page, click View Full Size then right click on the screen and click copy image address. Once you have the image address, you want to search in your browser for steam.design. On the left hand side, paste your background address where it says paste a background URL here. If you did this correctly, you should see that the background changed to the background that you purchased. You can click the 50% zoom scale so you can see the entire page. Click download zip in the top left of the screen. Next, go to your file explorer, click on desktop, then click New, choose Folder, and create a temporary folder called Steam Background. Now inside File Explorer, go to Downloads, find the zip we just downloaded from Steam.Design, right click on it and choose Extract All. Click Browse, go to Desktop, then double click the Steam Background folder we just created, choose Select Folder, then Extract. Once you have all your images in the Steam Background folder, we need to go to Giphy.com. Click Create, then choose File under GIF, find your Steam background folder under Desktop, then choose the artwork featured image. Here you can add text, change the font, color, move it around, resize it. You can also add stickers, resize and move them around too, or you can add some pretty basic animated filters. When your artwork is done, just click Continue to upload, then upload to Giphy. Click Download, Open up File Explorer and drag the downloaded artwork to your Steam background folder. Now for the last website. Search easygif.com, click resize, choose the file that we just downloaded from giphy.com, and click upload. Once that loads, click the drop down under aspect ratio that says force original aspect ratio, then type 630 in the width. Click resize image and save at the bottom. Move this downloaded file into your Steam background folder. Now let's go back to Steam through your favorite browser. Go to your profile and click Artwork, then click Upload Artwork, not game specific, then here you'll name your artwork. I like to use a period in case the name shows up below my art. Choose File, and choose the file we downloaded from EasyGIF. Check I certify that I created this artwork, then right click anywhere on the page, choose Inspect, Click the console tab and paste in the code I'll have in the description. Click enter, then you can close out of the console and click save and continue. Now we want to go back to your profile, click edit profile, featured showcase, click the drop down and choose featured artwork showcase, then choose the artwork we uploaded. If it looks like this little black line, you did it right. Click the black line and then save. If we go back to our profile, you should see the updated showcase. Let me know if you have any questions and feel free to check out some of my other videos to customize your Steam profile. Thanks for watching.